Hey, what's going on, Coin Up TV subscribers? Robert Walkner here. In this video, we're going to talk about C, specifically the C character classes on the Apple TV Plus show. And I'm looking forward to season two, but I wanted to make some more videos talking about C since they seem to be popular on my channel and I'm digging the show. So here it is. Uh, Crybaby for you, one of my subscribers, said that I should check out the C Instagram account and uh, see some of the uh, information on there that they're sharing. And sure enough, there's actually a lot of information talking about uh, what some of the words means, what some of the characters are, what they're what they're called, and their definitions. So I thought, let me gather together some of that information from the C Instagram account, put it together in this video to share with you guys, and then I actually dug through some of IMDb and Wikipedia and found out some more information on some of the different character classes as well, so that we can kind of talk about them. And I'm sure I'm going to miss a bunch, so you guys will have to let me know in the comments below who I may have missed. So let's get started. Sentier is a person gifted with a heightened sense of smell, which allows them to perceive danger from far away. The Sentiers were used on the front lines as sort of like scouts and radars. Uh, they don't seem to have a need for weapons or armor since their ability is mostly used for uh, communicating with the rest of the tribe and, uh, you know, talking about where things are, kind of the landscape of a battle or if there's a danger ahead. Presage is a person with a highly developed sense of empathy, allowing them to feel the emotion and intent of a person. So even though we see the presage used in the battlefield there, I feel like their use maybe would be better within the camp when it came to decision making and politics and bartering, since they can kind of use their sense of uh, for emotion and intent to sort of figure people out. So that's kind of a good use for the prestige. Ayura is a person with enhanced sense of hearing that can span great distance and even detect a lie on someone's breath. So another group that's great for scouting and being radar and figure out where dangers lie and where dangers are coming from attacking tribes, the Ayara would be great for those sort of things. And I sort of think that uh, maybe both Baba Voss and Tamak the John could have the Ayara abilities in them because it seems like Baba Voss is kind of a ninja in all different respects where he can sort of hear and sense things and stuff like that. But there's a lot of scenes where they show Baba Voss kind of turning his ear and kind of listening and sensing things. And then uh, Tamak the John, he actually can tell when somebody sense when somebody's telling the truth or lying and that's kind of a quality characteristic of this um, class as well even he even says i think in his interrogations that he can tell when somebody's lying by their breath or or the scent coming off their tongue next up we get to shadow the shadows are a secret to all including some of their own tribe shadows can move in silence and knowing secrets is their true gift so we get to see lots of shadows in uh, season one of c we get to see uh, Bo Lion, uh, Queen Kane's got a shadow of her own. Of course, uh, Cutter has got his uh, couple of shadows that run around and, uh, you know, spy on people and bring back some of the, the slaves for his camp there. A uh, lo lot of shadows at work now. Originally, I thought the shadows were sort of uh, mystical beings or had some sort of powers, but apparently they just have sort of an, and their enhancement is that they can move around in silence. Uh, the shadows are useful, useful for spying. Although it's uh, unclear for me how they were able to sort of walk around the camp so much once the twins got a little older and they can actually see them. It feels like shadows would be kind of null and vo void. Uh, they didn't really explain that. I mean, did uh, Kofon and uh, Hanawa see Bowline trying to be a shadow when they were older and they just kind of kept that to themselves as part of their secret? A lot, a lot of secrets going on there. Uh, be curious to see if that kind of you know, information gets uh, told or if that just gets kind of swept under the carpet as we go along there. Uh, also, another thing about the shadows is I get that they can move around silently, but it's still unclear to me. They're every The shadows are blind, like most of everybody else on the show. How do they avoid not bumping into things when they're walking around blindly? Like, I mean, I get that they got their hands, stuff like that, but they should be at least tripping over logs or twigs or their heads maybe bumping into a low branch or something like that. So it's, it's a little unclear. I mean, do the shadows have all the other abilities of the other character classes within them so they can sense all this other stuff? I, I'd be, I feel like we need an episode, a shadow's origin episode of C in season two, just kind of, 
you know, explain all that, or, or maybe they're not going to, maybe they're just going to kind of leave us all hanging and, and wondering and, uh, you know, trying to figure those things out. So, um, also fun fact, apparently shadows are all females because, uh, according to the, the spoken word or whatever, men are too clumsy to be shadows. So just a, just a little tidbit there. So that's, uh, those four classes are taken from the C Instagram account. So here's some of the classes that I want to talk about that are from uh, referencing Wikipedia and IMDB and just watching the show in general. Uh, like I said, if I miss some, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video or something or, uh, you know, something when we get more classes in C season two, we'll get, we'll get some more generals and things in bigger cities that uh, we can check out. So Okay, so here we go. First up, we got Dreamer, the Dreamer, which is sort of like a spiritual leader to the Alchemy tribe. We get to see the uh, Dreamer in a few episodes in the beginning there when uh, the Witchfinders are coming in to invade and the, uh, the lady there, the Dreamer lady, is kind of the decision maker there. Speaking of that, we get to the Witchfinder. I'm assuming the Witchfinder is a character class because I'm assuming there's not just one Witchfinder. Uh, we get to mainly see Tamakta June as a Witchfinder general, and then we get to see, of course, the Witchfinder warriors, which she has a large group of Witchfinder warriors. And I feel like within the Witchfinder warriors, there's different classes as well, but I couldn't really see notations of that within the um, IMDb or Wikipedia, so we'll see if somebody writes a book about C, maybe they'll um, expand upon this. We also get to see warriors, just the general warrior on both sides of each different tribe or faction. There's just kind of the, the warriors, kind of like the fighter. The front line usually has some armor, swords, weapons, clubs. So that's that's the warrior. Uh, next up, we get to see archers. And uh, it, seems, it turns out that Hanawa kind of turns into one of the archers. But I think the main episode where we see the archers is um, towards the end of season one in the Lavender Road. We get to see a few of the archers where the trail is there hang, hanging out. It seems like no fun just being an archer hanging out there all day and all night waiting for a sound to shoot some some arrows. Uh, but uh, it is kind of funny that blind people would be archers and they'd be using their sounds to hit targets. I mean... Okay, you know, I'd like to see that in real life, but, you know, this obviously is a fantasy science fiction show. We also hear about witches, and uh, when I was re-watching and doing some research for this, um, I see that Paris actually considers herself a witch or calls herself a witch. So I guess Paris would be a witch, and then we get to see um, some of the witches in one of the other episodes getting sort of burned, and uh, it's a little unclear if you have to be able to see to be a witch, or if you just have some sort of, you practice witch mystery, uh, you know, ethereal kind of practices or something like that. It's a little unclear what goes into being a witch. Maybe they'll have a witch origin episode or something like that, if Paris is actually that, or if she was just calling herself a witch you know, in, in jest or something. Uh, also on Wikipedia, it lists Paris as a wise elder. So I'm assuming each tribe has kind of their wise elder in addition to their dreamer. There's like the different the different hierarchy uh, within the tribe. Then of course we have the slavers and it seems like their ability is being able to sneak up on people who can actually see and tossing them in prison and putting them in shackles and putting them into slave labor camps. And then finally, uh, this is a group that isn't listed at all on IMDb or Wikipedia, but I'm going to call them the Sightseers. So basically, this is uh, these are the characters who have who can see. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious there. Uh, so Kafon, Hanawa, Jola Morel, Olaman, Boots, and of course all the kids that we get to meet from Jola Morel's kids there in the the last episode. Um, so those are all the Sightseers. Will there be more of those? I don't know, but it's, that seems to be a gene that Jola Morel can pass on to his kids, the gift of sight. Um, we'll see if that's kind of expanded upon in season two or not. I'll be curious to see how much of Jola Morel is in season two. I mean, it's funny, his name was mentioned so much, and then we got to see so little of him, and he was kind of a little bit of a disappointment towards the end of season one, so uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So there it is. Just doing some fun research, making a little video on C. I look forward to your comments below. And if you guys are brand new, please subscribe. I'm reviewing the other Apple TV Plus shows and also some of the shows on Disney Plus now on my CoinApp TV channel. So I hope you enjoy for CoinApp TV. We'll see you next time.